I know a lot of you expected an 8-4 video now, but you have to be patient. We are going to spill blood in 8-3 set before. Get my first 8-4 kill finally. Kill loads of Gucci guys. Yes! Grab amazing loot. Lala. And having the most intense fights yet. Enjoy. 6484 Bloodletter. Looking scary, but he had bad buff and Ava came on cooldown. That's a fucking good plan! Started with him dodging my E nicely. 80 Stalker took it together with mine, but I had Ava Cape, which meant 15% debuff, so we are even on damage for a while. He decided to not prowl longer as his 6 4 Bloodletter deals less damage with autos and Qs, and he kited away. He will have earlier CDs, so I accepted his kite plan. I thought he's engaging, but he just baited my cowl again nicely. He has 200 more HP, but I still have my rose buff ready. Q for one stack extra damage and we prowl in our stalker jackets. Got to 40% HP around same time, but I had rose buff, he didn't. He threw him and the rest is history. My first, kinda, 8-4 kill. Let's go, guys. Fucking finally, dude. 4-4, very nice awakened blood letter with full spec 8-3 set, but the Tedford cape is memes, so I'm all for it. We traded ease and mercenary cowls into immediate stalker jackets. His jacket hurts way more because of his full spec and extra damage on blood letter, but I have 8 3 weapon, which means I can even it out during and uh, after the trade, which happened. He realized it and tried to dip away. Well, finally, I found a good usage for my Merc hood and didn't let him escape. We banking big today, boys. Yes! What on earth is this atrocity? Immediately went into full hunter mode. This is walking money! That mob is MVP for today. Thanks for dismounting him. Poison to slow him down and get extra damage. His E hurts a lot, but mine hurts more. Another nice cash grab. Unfortunate trash raid, but we take it, boys. We take it. Lola. <laughs> Versus 4473 full spec fully awakened blood letter, same build, swapped food for pure mist and W for chain slash as I can't catch you anyway because of his cooldowns and his 12% ability damage. Meant I needed some sustain in his stalker jacket. He dodged my E nicely, I answered with his stalker jacket in mine and W for little damage and I frame. He disengaged with his E and as I missed mine the trade went into his favor so I tried to get time to have cooldowns too and went to the other side. But I got in a way of this big aggressive mod which was, let's say, super bad. He had much earlier stalker jacket, but I had to stay and prowl in it. Then pop mine, dodged mob spell, tried to OC, didn't work as usual, even while panic clicking it 100 times, ate his E and also got my intestines slashed by this big mofo who just kept aggroing on me all the time. Merg would into W into E into Q would kill him, but again, dead mob got into my chain sledge range, so I popped into mob and my combo goes wasted. So I used E to disengage, but it was too late. With his food and W, I can't escape him. GG. By the way, just to see how this setup can work without fucking mobs, check this clip which was minute before, same guy. I clapped his cheeks, but Reds interrupted us and we both decided to run away instead. Unlucky, I guess. Versus 4 for one handed curse on Bartle Cape and Soldier Armor. I had no idea where was my brain at the moment, I decided to dismount him and fight him, but well, let's check how the fight went. Insert cried me. Disengage for his W grudge. Come back as his ending and pop my Stalker jacket, keeping my Shadow Edge for his E. I know I can't Shadow Edge him as he is too close, so I aim for the little squirrel, but my Shadow Edge for some reason doesn't connect. Why for love of god, this is super terrible now, as I won't have Shadow Edge ready for his second D and I have no boots to disengage. Oh GG. Versus 4 4 6 3 blood letter. Not much to say, guy was scared and probably knew, so just pointing out few things. Stalker jacket for in this pod reveal, keeping Merkhu to cancel his purity sandals. And then just waited for my E to kill him before undead cape rocks.
versus nice 4463 carving full spec plus OC. Carving is known counter to Bloodletter. Dodge his W, expecting him to immediately, so used Merku to deny him partially the damage. He did not use it, so I used Stalker Jacket, which he answered with Mist Walker Jacket for no reason, as he could just E away. He finally found the E on the keyboard, I didn't dodge his W, but there was already no need. Waited for the perfect moment for execute and craft perfect trash raid. Versus 6-3 OC dual swords, again not easy for Bowletter, mainly as I had no spells ready from previous camp, but I didn't want him to run away from me. I like this confidence with using E probably before inspecting me low. Very good for his E and Ava Cape debuff helped me trade even with him even for his own dual swords. He wasted Mist Walker Jacket thinking I will go for execute, but no no no, I didn't even have my cooldown ready yet. So I just chased, again used Mergut for E and just finished him before the Undead Cape proc, GG. Versus 6-3 OC Prowling who surprised me on a camp, since then I stopped wasting boots just to clear faster lol. I luckily had cultist Kalo in this fight, Stalker Jacket for his transfer, Q away from his W, Cultist Kalo for his another transfer. Damn, this kitty is pretty hungry it seems. W away from his pool. Um, I just met you and this is crazy, but here's subscribe button, so click it maybe. <laughs> he wasted Miss Walker Jacket as I'm keeping my E for his transfer. Matching boots, popping Stalker Jacket and just securing the kill with E while he was transferred. GG. Versus super weird 8-1 OC broadcasters, that's why I swapped to Chainslash so I can stop his E as my Merkut won't work for his Clary Grove. Stop his Q with my Merkut, as soon as he popped his E I answered with Chainslash to stop it. Boots to gap close. Thought he's full running so Merkut to stop him, not ideal. E didn't kill, this is more close than I want it to be, but all is good, as I said, we are banking today. My first serious fight in A3 Bloodletter with Merkut, let's check how it goes versus full 5 for A3 Bloodletter, same build. He didn't use boots but instead tried to steal my rare chest. I took it personally and came closer only for him eagerly popping his stalker jacket. Merkut to slow and just watched him from far how his main damage goes wasted. He used E through me so I used my stalker jacket but forgot he still has W so now I am watching how my stalker jacket goes wasted. His jacket will be ready soon so I wanted to disengage with W to side and Merkut to slow him but... I fat fingered E instead of D. Damn. This is, well, really unfortunate. Finally used the Merkut I opted originally and tried to gain space. Luckily, he popped Stalker Jacket super uselessly once again. I kited and kited and should have kept kiting, but as he closed the gap, I decided I can't waste more time and pop Jacket while prowling. If I kited for one second longer, this wouldn't happen. I used E half second after his meaning. He's counted and mine didn't. <laughs> GG. One stupid but big mistake and I'm dead. No fucking way, I... Oh, I don't know how to play with Merkut. What the fuck are you doing? Very, very, very yeah, nice fight yes. for a 3 blood letter. I had cultist yeah. cover in this fight. As he had much better cooldowns, I swapped for pure mist snapper. Unfortunately, right before fight, he did the same. I should have dipped to close exit, as I also didn't realize he swapped for chain sludge, which is terrible news. Cultist Cavill and early stalker jacket helped me even out the trade, things went south pretty soon folks, because W and better cooldown and ability damage and HP meant I had no chance in Bravo. Also I had undead cape and he had Avalonian cape, don't know what I was thinking. OC to grab the last health. Ok ok, I might win this if I E him first, but no. His E was ready earlier, again. I missed mine and he hit his. I could have actually went for exit as he missed his E here, but I decided to stay in fight because my last two brain cells were fighting for first spot. GG again. Well, let's check some kill compilation and fun moments as usual. This is bullshit. Yeah, because I just can't take this anymore. Now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Land, land, this guy giving up from blue tops like Mars Simpson, just hard discipline, pot simmering, cooking up, no racks in the pan, watching the plan for him in the sand, bidding castles out of thoughts in our head, late nights, no sleep in my bed, trying to see my dreams manifest. Look at that, man, look at that, we nice. Put the pants on ice, I was bad like Mike, uh, now I'm good like Henry said, boy, we gonna be all right. Uh, I just double my price, yeah, I get love on sight, that's 
the only love I like. And look at that, we nice. For all the ones who showed it, showed up with no motives. That fake love is so bogus. I don't take love from false owners. Don't respect those who promote it. On paper, you look honest. But on the outside, looking in. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video same as this guy enjoyed juking us few weeks ago while sieging castle with our guild low. Moments like that are actually the true MMORPG moments, laughing with friends while getting dumbfounded by someone else. You fucked us. Big ass. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no. Well guys, I'm already running for 3 days in 8 foreign mists, no spoilers, but I got some huge kills meanwhile, so I'm really looking forward for editing the next video. If you like my content and commentary, consider subscribing please. I know you see my videos on homepage anyway, so there is probably no reason for you to do other than making me happy, because I can reach to more people just with your one click. For next giveaway we will go for pretty buffed 6-4 awakened double bladed stuff and 14 days of premium. Let's go, hype, hype, hype. Also congrats for giveaway winner, contact me on Discord and add me in game, read description how you do it. Have a wonderful week guys, your noob, grinder.